Hi everybody, I hope you're well. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most common questions that wedding photographers often debate over, which is better, zooms or primes? Now, the answer to this isn't straightforward as they do both offer advantages over each other. So, let's crack on. Ever since I started shooting weddings in 2006, there have been certain questions which wedding photographers argue about and they come up time and time again. Should you ask for food in your contract? Nikon versus Canon, or Sony versus Canon these days. Should you show your prices on your website? And this one, which lenses are better, zooms or primes? So I thought it was about time that I made a video on this. I'd also be really interested to know your answers to this question as well, so please let me know in the comments whether you're Team Prime or Team Zoom. Now, spoiler alert, there is no right or wrong answer. Well, that's a lie, for me there is, but my answer may not be the same as yours, and that is fine. We all work in different ways, and what works best for photographer A doesn't mean it's going to work best for photographer B. And one of the things which I always try to stress in my videos and in all the training that I do is that we are all individuals and we should all concentrate on developing our own unique styles. However, what I will always do is tell you about my own experiences and what I find works best for me. But whether we're talking about lenses, cameras, editing, or any aspects of wedding photography, just because I do something in a certain way doesn't mean that that is the right way or that it is the only way. It just means that that way works best for me. Now, in the past, there was definitely an argument to say that prime lenses were sharper than zoom lenses. However, the difference isn't really that big these days, so what I'm not going to be doing is zooming into images to 300% to check out which is the sharper because the difference is gonna be really minimal. And let's be honest, videos that do that just tend to be really dull. So first of all, let's talk about the advantages of each type of lens. And bear in mind that everything that I talk about in this video is in relation to wedding photography. I've shot over 400 weddings now and I shoot around 25 weddings a year so as with all the videos on my channel the advice that I give you is based on real world experience of shooting weddings regularly. So on this side we have zooms. The advantage of zoom lenses is that they cover more focal lengths. In theory this means that you can save more space in your bag because you don't need as many lenses and well well that's about it really when it comes to the advantages but it is a big one if we're being honest. Now next up on on this side we have prime lenses. Now what are the advantages of prime lenses? Well first up they can allow you to shoot at wider apertures. This is obviously a huge advantage if you're shooting in low light or if you want to throw out a background or create cool bokeh. Primes are usually smaller and lighter as well which for wedding photography where we can often be shooting all day is a really big advantage. Prime lenses are often cheaper as well however there is an argument from Team Zoom to say that you may need more than one prime lens to cover one zoom lens so we're not going to count that one but and this is the main reason I wanted to make this video these facts alone don't give us enough information to really decide which is best because it doesn't tell us about the actual experience of shooting and ultimately that in my opinion is the biggest factor of all so just to tell you a bit about the lenses which I've used in the past for the first First 10 years of me shooting weddings I used Nikon DSLRs and in that time I shot almost exclusively with zoom lenses because well why wouldn't you with just three lenses that was the Nikon 12 to 24 the 24 70 and the 7200 I could cover almost every focal length that you could possibly ever need on a wedding day those lenses were all f 2.8 lenses as well so I could shoot at pretty wide open apertures and the quality of images that I got from those lenses was great. I did also own a couple of primes too. I had the Sigma 35mm 1.4 
I wouldn't recommend that unless you like using lenses which don't like to focus and a cheap 50mm prime as well but in the main 90% of the photographs which I was taking on a wedding day back then were taken on a zoom lens and I didn't see any reason to change but then in 2015 I started to follow Tyler working I watched him on creative live and then at the nine dots gathering in London and he inspired me to try using prime lenses instead and not just any prime prime lenses but the 35mm and the 85mm. Now at first this seemed a bit silly to me because I could already shoot at those focal lengths with my zoom lenses but I loved Tyler's approach to wedding photography so I decided to give it a go. I bought a Nikon 35mm and 85mm 1.8 and by using prime lenses instead of zooms I started to realise that the biggest advantages of prime lenses over zooms was that I believe that I was becoming a better wedding photographer because those lenses were making me think more and when you think more your images will become better and better it became obvious that zoom lenses had made me get a bit lazy. If I was taking documentary shots on a wedding day, I tended to take them on a 70 to 200. I could stand quite far back and just zoom in. But with primes, I wasn't able to do that. Primes made me think much more about where I was stood and where I needed to position myself to get the shot that I wanted. And the more that I was doing this, the more that I started to develop muscle memory. Because I've been using those prime focal lengths almost exclusively now for six years, before I even lift up the camera to my eye I know exactly where I need to stand to get the composition I want this means I can react better to capturing moments and I can work in a much more instinctive way now in contrast if you lift a camera with a 2470 zoom attached to it then the lens could be zoomed in or it could be zoomed out but either way you're not going to know and you're going to need to correct that before taking your shot so in that sense zoom lenses are actually giving you an extra step to think about and that can really slow you down and for documentary wedding photography where we're trying to capture fleeting moments that can pass by in an instant that extra step could mean that you miss shots as well as talking about why he felt prime lenses were better for wedding photographers Tyler also spoke about the importance of getting close and again that was a game changer for me now I could get close to my 2470 of course but I just didn't tend to because I always had the get out of jail option I've just been able to zoom in and that would just felt easier but again once I took that option away from myself and I had no option but to get physically closer to the action in order to fill the frame I started to see huge Huge improvements in my work so although on the face of it by using prime lenses it feels sometimes as though we're putting ourselves at a disadvantage because we're losing options when it comes to focal length however in reality we're not putting ourselves at a disadvantage because what we are gaining in the experience of shooting is far far more beneficial I would also say that to my knowledge almost all of the wedding photographers who I know and who I follow shoot with prime lenses and as I say, there is a reason for that. I now shoot virtually the whole of a wedding day with just two lenses, my Sony 35mm 1.8 and my Sony 85mm 1.8. I also have the Sony 16-35mm to 35mm 2.8 and a Sigma 135mm 1.8, but 90% of the day is taken with the 35-85mm combo, and I would not consider going back to my old zoom lenses at all now. So let me just say it again, there is nothing wrong with using zoom lenses and no one should ever tell you that there is because we all shoot differently but it is my belief and I am saying this because of my own experiences of having used both zooms and primes over the years that prime lenses will help you to improve your photography skills certainly when it comes to composition and documentary wedding photography and that is the reason why I am firmly a member of team primes so as always I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful thank you very much again for watching and i will see you next time